A family recently moved into a new house, and since day one they have been experiencing mysterious activity. Most of the activity centers around their new baby, and they often see and hear strange things on the baby monitor. One of the earliest videos they captured regarding the paranormal is when their daughter walked over to a dark closet and began to interact with someone or something nearby. The family also mentioned they have moved several times and the same creepy activity seems to follow them. They are unsure how to deal with the strange entities and are starting to worry that their kids may be impacted in a negative way. Late one evening after the parents went to bed, the baby monitor inside their child's crib detected motion nearby. When they went to watch the replay, they were stunned by what they witnessed. Just moments into the video, we can see a large black shadow figure moving from left to right. It's difficult to make out any notable features, but the parents claimed they were asleep and nobody else was in the house. Although the figure appears to be dark, many people in the comment section are convinced the spirit is friendly and potentially looking after the young child. Just before the video ends, the shadow figure can be seen levitating up from the floor to the ceiling. The parents who captured the video mentioned they are looking around for a medium to assist them in communicating with whoever or whatever is interested in their child. A woman that we featured a few weeks ago uploaded a new video regarding the strange activity that is taking place in her apartment. In the last video, she captured multiple occurrences of poltergeist activity from doors being closed on their own to objects flying across the room. She has decided to stay in the residence with her child rather than packing up and leaving altogether. When she was home alone one evening, while her daughter was with her father, she began to hear her daughter's voice coming from down the hall. As she approached the dark bedroom, she was convinced her daughter was in the room somehow. But when she opened the door and turned on the lights, she got the scare of a lifetime. As the video begins, we can clearly hear a young girl calling out for her mother. When she turns on the lights to her daughter's room, she quickly realizes that nobody is there. Soon, poltergeist activity begins to take place with the clothing drawers opening and closing along with the radio playing when it apparently has no power source. She examines the radio for an abnormally long time to show her viewers that there was no power, batteries or tape that could have been playing. She eventually begins to exit the room when she hears the disembodied voice calling out to her once more. A man was out riding his bike one afternoon with hopes of capturing a scenic place to take photos. He dedicates his channel to his love of the outdoors and this expedition started like any other. He attached a GoPro camera to his helmet to document his day and show everyone how he goes about selecting a place to photograph. He has never posted any paranormal videos on his channel, so when he uploaded the following video, his viewers were stunned. 
The video takes place on the 12th of May, back in 2020. As he began his mountain biking session in the mountains of Patagonia, he would soon see something out of the corner of his eye. When he took a closer look, he wasn't sure exactly what he captured. As he rounds one of the corners, he notices a large tree with something abnormal attached to it. He soon focuses his attention on the tree and realizes a human figure is watching him from high up. The video abruptly ends, and it's difficult to tell exactly what the figure was doing up in the tree. People in the original comment section have speculated that he is attempting to harm people passing by, while others are convinced it's an indigenous spirit. Paranormal or not, the footage is definitely creepy. A family in Alabama has been experiencing strange activity in their home ever since they moved in. Several of the family members have seen shadow figures out of the corner of their eye, along with hearing the sound of disembodied voices. In order to get some answers regarding the mysterious events, the family decided to install a security camera inside the house. One afternoon when nobody was home, one of the family members got a notification that motion was detected inside the house. When they went to review the footage, they were stunned by what they witnessed. When the family uploaded the video to social media, they got various answers regarding what it could be, and it still remains a mystery to this very day. After a few seconds, we can see a bright figure manifest on the stairs. The figure moves slightly to the right before vanishing altogether. Many people in the original comment section mentioned that it could possibly be a reflection, but the original creator clarified that there are no roads in front of the house. The front yard is supposedly half an acre, so a reflection is highly unlikely. A reflection would also move more continuously, which makes the video even more creepy. A nurse works at a hospital that she swears is haunted. Most of her co-workers have experienced something that they are unable to explain. She has heard stories about shadow figures being seen along with objects moving entirely on their own. She was working late one night and began to feel as though someone was watching her. But every time she looked up, she didn't see anyone nearby. Many believe hospitals tend to be the site of paranormal activity due to the amount of trauma and people that unfortunately pass away. Eventually, she looks up toward a rounded mirror just outside her station and begins to notice something highly unusual. As she took a closer look, she was chilled to her core. Okay, there's nobody here, right? Nobody here. What is that? Because it is not me. This is me leaving. Closing the door. What the fuck is that? And here comes the door back opening. And nobody's there. But yet. As the nurse zooms into the reflection, she notices a dark humanoid figure standing just outside her office. The figure appears to be stationary, but some people in the comment section mentioned that they believe the figure moves ever so slightly. One thing that makes the video rather suspicious is the fact that she didn't take two steps and look to her left, where the figure would have been. Her reluctance to do so makes me think that the figure was simply a shadow that the mirror distorted. Paranormal or not, working by yourself in a hospital late at night is definitely creepy.
A man named Dustin works at a small hotel up in the mountains. He has been featured before when he captured a terrifying entity right behind him in the hotel diner. On this night, he was asked to grab some pillowcases and sheets for a guest and was terrified to go by himself. He has seen everything from shadow figures lurking in various rooms to hearing disembodied voices that are anything but friendly. When he first enters the room with all the sheets, he notices how cold it is, which many believe is a sign of paranormal activity. It wasn't long before he captured disembodied voices nearby, which many feel are coming from a demonic source. As he entered the room, he would soon get the scare of a lifetime. Cases. Oh, I probably shouldn't have. Oh, okay. Whoops. Wait, no, those are wrong. That's not pull tails. <sighs> Shit. Okay. I, th I think this is, this is good. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Here we go. As Dustin enters the cold, dark room, he immediately brings attention to the temperature, and soon, a disembodied voice seems to respond to him. Freezing in here. Freezing in here. As he goes about his tasks, there are five instances where a loud and clear disembodied voice is heard. When he is placing the towels back on the shelf, we can hear the voice saying, It's mine. Just before he decides to exit the room, he faces the camera toward himself, and we can clearly hear the voice say, Behind you. Many people in the original comment section are convinced the hotel is haunted while the skeptics are certain it was fake, since camera microphones aren't sensitive enough to pick up disembodied voices. A woman who collects dolls has recently been experiencing strange activity at night. She started collecting dolls because it reminded her of her childhood and would bring about happy memories. Recently at night, some of the dolls began to turn on and sing, which was unusual since no one was there to trigger them. Another strange experience she began to have was the sound of children giggling from various rooms in the house, even though none of the dolls had that particular ability. One night while she was fast asleep, she began to hear one of the dolls singing a nursery rhyme, which she thought was pretty eerie. When she began to focus her attention on the doll, she began to see behaviors that she had never seen before. As she begins recording, we can clearly hear the doll singing one of the programmed nursery rhymes. That may not be too creepy in the beginning, but she mentions that the laugh is something she has never heard before. The eerie laugh in the middle and at the end of the song is what made her feel incredibly uncomfortable. Another strange aspect of the doll was the fact it was continuously blinking, even though the doll was not programmed to do so. Paranormal or not, the footage is definitely creepy.
Back in July, a security camera located in Colombia recorded an event that still remains a mystery. Based on the original post, the man in the video encountered something that left him needing 24 stitches. The video takes place at night and starts with a man standing in front of his door and soon casually walking inside. After a few moments, a strange orb appears out of nowhere and flies directly inside his house. The loud bang is heard by the neighbors who quickly rush over to see if the man is okay. Upon further inspection, they realize the man was knocked unconscious. Obviously, none of them knew what took place, so they reviewed the security footage once the man regained consciousness. What they witnessed sent chills down their spines. About halfway into the video, we can see a small orb near the backside of the car. The orb soon increases in size and quickly makes its way around the car and slams directly into the house, knocking the man unconscious. Even when we slow down the footage, it's impossible to tell what the object is. Some people in the original comment section mentioned it was a bug, but clearly no bug looks or behaves like that. To this day, the paranormal community is still looking for answers. A mother recently got back from dropping off one of her sons at a sleepover nearby. When she arrived home, she had a strange feeling that something was off in the house. She decided to ignore it and went to read with her other son. Everything was peaceful until she began to hear footsteps and a familiar voice nearby. She thought she heard her son's voice in the living room, but knew that couldn't be the case since she just dropped him off. She mentioned that she began to see shadows under the door, indicating that someone was nearby. This began to alarm her and her son since nobody else should have been in the house. She began to hear her son's voice outside the door and knew at this moment that a mimic was trying to deceive her. Who is it? Me. Who's me? Your son. Aren't you at your friend's sleepover? Just moments into the video, we can hear a dialogue between a young boy outside the door and the mother on the bed. She mentions that it couldn't have been her son based on the way he was talking back to her along with the fact that she just dropped him off at a sleepover. Obviously, the fact that someone was in the room recording this brings considerable doubt to the authenticity of the video. Along with someone recording this, the smaller child in the bed doesn't seem scared at all and almost appears as though they find the entire situation funny. Unfortunately, the video abruptly ends before we can see who or what is on the other side of the door. Back in 2023, a woman was driving home alone one evening when her dash cam captured something truly bizarre. The road that she was driving down is rumored to be haunted by the people that unfortunately lost their lives in the various car accidents. 
She was always warned while growing up to never drive down this road at night, and if she absolutely must, to always drive with a friend or family member. Many of the spirits that allegedly haunt this road will walk in the middle of the street causing drivers to swerve to avoid them and end up in their own car accident. The cycle continuously repeats itself even though everyone has been warned of the dangerous road. While driving down the road in the middle of the night, we soon notice a translucent figure manifest in the middle of the road. The figure appears to be that of a woman dressed in a white gown. Due to the camera quality, it's difficult to say whether the figure suddenly appeared, or if it had been walking across the road. One thing is for sure the figure does appear to be translucent. Based on the driver's reaction, we can assume the figure was not added in with CGI, and that he noticed the strange apparition in real time. Paranormal or not, the footage is definitely creepy. A man was recording some drum tracks for his upcoming album and decided to record them at a private school in Seattle. While he looked around the school, he considered making a vlog but had difficulty concentrating due to the creepy vibe that the school was giving off. He tried to take several video introductions, but as he began to speak, he would soon forget the words that he originally memorized. The school was entirely vacant during the time of his recording, which only made the environment more eerie. He wasn't happy with any of his videos, but he noticed something in the background while reviewing one of the intros. When he took a closer look, he was stunned by what he captured. Okay. If we pay close attention to the stairwell behind him, we can see a translucent figure slowly walking down. It doesn't appear as though he had any idea the figure was nearby. He did mention that he felt as though he was being watched, which makes a great deal of sense. The figure appears to be that of a woman with black hair dressed in a white dress. To this day, he is still in disbelief regarding what he captured and will never visit the school ever again. A man was fast asleep early one morning when he began to hear loud noises coming from his bathroom. Unsure if he was simply imagining things, he went back to sleep, but eventually couldn't deny the fact that something was actually happening. He gathered his courage and slowly walked toward the bathroom. We featured his account a few months back when he captured the laugh of a ghostly child in his kitchen, along with aggressive poltergeist activity. He was hoping everything would calm down at his house, but as he approached the bathroom, he was certain something was very wrong. As he entered his bathroom, his attention was fixed on the shower area and mainly the shower head. What he soon experienced sent chills down his spine. Señores, empiezo a grabar porque se estaban escuchando ruidos en el baño. Vale. Y ahora absolutamente nada. Hay algo aquí. En el nombre de Jesús te reprendo. Me cubro con la sangre de Cristo. Ahora no se escucha nada. En el nombre de Jesús te reprendo. Me cubro con la sangre de Cristo. Mire, 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 mire. Once he makes his way to the bathroom, he begins to pan his camera back and forth, but doesn't notice anything out of the ordinary. After a few moments, it's as if he can feel the presence in the bathroom and is somehow fixated on the shower head. It wasn't long before we could see movement in the hose which began to startle him. 
Some skeptics in the original comments section were under the impression it was simply water pressure moving the hose. But once the hose began to extend toward him, they were soon left without an explanation. Paranormal or not, seeing your shower head come to life is definitely creepy. A woman by the name of Jenna works at an allegedly haunted hotel in Canada. One of the main reasons for the paranormal activity is that the hotel is across the street from a large cemetery. At first, she was nervous to work there, especially with all the stories her co-workers told her. Stories ranged from seeing ghostly apparitions in various hallways, along with hearing disembodied voices in rooms that were supposed to be vacant. One morning, she was working with a few co-workers when she stopped by the front desk and noticed something unusual on the security camera. When she called over to her co-worker to see what she was witnessing, he also mentioned that he saw the same thing earlier. Although they remained calm, they couldn't help but feel uneasy about the presence. Oh, and it says they hang out and dwell around graveyards. And you know the story on that, right? Uh... When Mike hired those two native spiritual people to come here and do their stuff, he said it's not the hotel that's haunted, it's the graveyard. Oh. So this service road here where Danny and I used to park, that's the old Stony Plain Road. Do you really think they, when they dug up all the bodies here, that was a good one, moved them over to the graveyard? They dug up the bodies and what? Before this hotel. See? Yeah. I saw it. Yeah. Hey, Noel. Yeah, What's up? Oh, yeah, I see it again. Yeah, let's try and sit in the chair. Sometimes he'll stay there for a minute. He is. How do you know this? Well, because Danny and I caught him earlier when Danny was in the games room locking up. I freaked because I saw it. And then I tried to do a video review to record it, and it wouldn't let me. Why is it still there? Well, because if you read about it, they get caught in a vortex. And they linger around for Just moments into the video, we can see a white translucent figure floating into frame from right to left. While Jenna looks on in amazement, her co-worker is mentioning that the spiritual experts they brought in mentioned that the graveyard was haunted, not the hotel that it was built on. After a few moments, the figure appears to sit down in one of the leather chairs for a brief moment. Based on everything in the video, this one does come across rather genuine and authentic. Given the fact that the graveyard holds over 19,000 bodies, it's safe to assume that some were left behind. This next video is taking the paranormal community by storm. A female nurse was working late one evening when one of her co-workers mentioned she saw something in one of the vacant areas. At first, she wasn't sure if her co-worker was playing a trick on her, but when she realized she was being sincere, she cautiously followed her to the area in question. The hospital that she works in is allegedly haunted, and many of her fellow nurses have had their own personal encounters with the supernatural. Many of them have seen ghostly apparitions throughout the hall, and have even had patients mention their own chilling encounters. When she approached the vacant section of the hospital, she grabbed her phone and began to pan around the room. Although she didn't see anything unusual, her camera captured something bizarre. Ay, loco, que vi alguien pasar. Hey! Váyanse de aquí, ahorita va a prender un incienso. Se les acabó el chistecito. As she begins to pan the camera from side to side, we eventually see a dark shadow figure in the corner of the room. Due to the camera quality and distance, it's difficult to make out any distinct features. At the time, she and her friend didn't notice anything, but when they watched back the footage before deleting the video, they were completely stunned. While many people in the original comments section are convinced they captured the spirit of a former patient, the skeptics believe it was simply a friend playing a joke.
Back in 2022, a few friends got back from a hunting trip in Baxter, Tennessee, and were relaxing on their property. One of the friends noticed some movement out of the corner of their eye but didn't pay much attention to it. They were exhausted from their hunt, so they weren't focusing on the tree line. Eventually, they looked out to the sunset and noticed a massive creature off in the distance. Unsure if their eyes were playing tricks on them, they decided to grab their camera just in case it was something worth capturing. Once the figure made its way from behind the tree, they were both terrified since it didn't have the shape of any creature they have ever seen in the woods. Although he remained filming the encounter, he was terrified due to how curious the creature was. Hey, just, do you see that? Do you see that? I'm afraid. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Finally, can you see that? As the video begins, we can see a massive dark figure hiding behind one of the trees. Both of the friends seem completely shocked at what they are witnessing. Obviously, the camera is low quality, but when the creature steps out from behind the tree and extends its left arm, we can clearly see the arm is abnormally long. It's difficult to tell if the creature was aggressive, but it is safe to assume it was very curious. Many people are convinced they captured compelling evidence of a Bigfoot, while the skeptics believe the footage is not clear enough to definitively say one way or another. A woman has recently moved into a new apartment and has been experiencing strange activity ever since she moved in. She often hears strange screaming coming from the nearby forest and also notices objects moved from their original position. In order to feel more safe, she decided to install some security cameras inside her home to potentially capture the source of the strange events. Recently, one of her neighbors mentioned they saw a strange creature lurking by her apartment and to be extra cautious since the forest nearby is rumored to be the home of several odd entities. Late one evening, she was doing some laundry when her security camera captured something that would forever haunt her. As the video begins, we can see a young lady making her way to a drying rack. Everything seems rather ordinary at first, until she finishes up and walks out of the room. If we focus our attention on the front door, we can see a skinny, pale figure crawling by the front of the house. Many people in the original comment section are convinced she captured authentic evidence of the cryptid known as the Rake. Although the rake is a fictional character from a creepypasta, many are convinced that they actually exist in real life. Whether it was a rake or a nosy neighbor, the footage is definitely creepy. A man recently moved into a new house in Italy and was excited about his new journey. He mentions that he moved into a small wooden house in a very remote village in northern Italy where the Alpine Trail begins. He lived in the city for most of his life and was ready for a peaceful change. In the beginning, everything was perfect, until one night he began to hear some unusual noises. The strange sounds were coming from the attic and it sounded like footsteps and objects being moved along the floor. At first he thought the noises were simply the house settling since it was an old house, but the noises began to get more intense over time. One night, he was relaxing in bed when he heard the same noises start up once again. He grabbed his phone and started to record.
Just moments into the video, we can hear strange noises coming from the attic. It sounds like footsteps directly above, along with something heavy being dragged. He does his best to follow the noises along the attic floor and eventually makes his way to the ladder. As he bravely climbs up the ladder, he begins to pan his camera back and forth, but doesn't see anything out of the ordinary. Eventually, we hear a chime of some sort, and when he looks to see what could have made the noise, his camera captures a chair whipping back completely on its own. He mentioned that after this incident, he was very shaken up and had to stay at a friend's house in the meantime. A family in southwest Virginia recently captured a strange encounter behind their house. Their house is located deep in the woods and the family has several trail cameras throughout the property. They are frequent hunters and they always like to keep an eye out for any potential wildlife. Most of the time, the camera captures small animals such as deer or raccoons. The video they received a few months back shows a small opossum wandering at night, but there was something in the video they overlooked. Just off in the distance, a pair of glowing eyes could be seen lurking in the darkness. The family is unsure what exactly they captured and are worried something terrifying is lurking on their property. We can clearly see the small opossum walking down the clear path, but just off to its left, a pair of reflective eyes are close by in the shadows. Many people in the original comment section were quick to point out that it was simply a spider web reflecting the light from the camera. There are others that believe it was potentially a bear, but the distance between the eyes seems too far apart. Others speculated that it was potentially a cryptid, but it's too dark to distinguish any clear features. A family owns an old manor and rents it out on Airbnb. Over the years, they would receive some reviews about some former clients experiencing strange things in the house. The owner of the manor didn't think much of it since the poor reviews were few and far between. Recently, the unusual experiences have started to pick up, so much so that she decided to stay in the manor by herself one week. She placed several cameras throughout the house with hopes of capturing whoever or whatever was responsible for the mysterious activity. Many guests reported seeing strange shadow figures, along with hearing disembodied footsteps in the attic. One night, when she was in the middle of her one-week stay, she was awakened by some unusual sounds. This whole time I'm getting ring notifications that there is motion in my attic and mind you, we moved the camera to the small room off of the attic. So like the timing right now is a little crazy. Thomas! As the video begins, we can hear loud footsteps directly in the attic. She claims that once she moved the camera in the attic, the strange activity only picked up. 
Once she leaves her bed and walks into the family room, we can see a cord that's attached to the lamp moving entirely on its own. Towards the end of the video, she shows the notifications on her phone that their camera detected motion. When she opens the video, we can see the attic door slowly opening and closing by itself. While many people in the original comment section are convinced the old manor is haunted, the skeptics are certain the family is doing this on their own to generate more business. A couple friends went to grab some late night food and one of them felt the urge to go play in the slides. They were the only ones in the restaurant and no other kids were in sight. They began to climb up and through the slides and everything seemed rather ordinary at first. One of the friends decided to record the entire experience and filmed herself weaving through the tunnels. She mentioned several times that she felt as though she was too big for the playground but continued to push on. In one specific area of the tunnel, her microphone captured something that left the friends completely speechless. They didn't notice the voice at the time, but eventually when they watched the video back, they both heard it loud and clear. They are unsure about the history of the restaurant and are starting to suspect it may have a dark past. You guys, I can't do this. I feel like I keep bonking my head, too. That's crazy. There's, like, actual good time here. <laughs> this is literally for human hamsters. Oh, my God. Someone bashed in this window. I feel like this is... As she climbs through the playful tunnels, she eventually reaches a section where her phone's microphone captures the voice of a young child. It is difficult to explain the voice away since it clearly sounds like a child's voice, but clearly there are no children present. At the time, she didn't hear the disembodied voice and it wasn't until later they both heard the chilling recording. It's tough to decipher exactly what the voice is trying to say, but we can all agree it's definitely creepy. A family was on vacation in Florida and decided to stay at the Casa Monica, which is an allegedly haunted hotel. Two of the most haunted rooms in the hotel are room 411 and room 511, which is directly above the former room. A guest checked into the hotel one day but never came down the next morning or checked out. Workers found his limp and lifeless body hanging from the ceiling in room 511. Guests now report feeling icy winds moving through the room, finding cold spots in certain places, and hearing footsteps when they were the only ones in the room. When one of the family members went to go take a shower before bed, they noticed something that sent chills up their spine. He grabbed his phone and recorded the following. Move the handle again. You did it so good. Three times. Well, more than that. Three times like ah! No. No way. No. It went slow. You see it? I can't wait to send this to April and mom. No, I know that. I told you. That's why we kept getting burnt last night. Christian was saying that he's upstairs taking a shower right now. Look. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I told you. I Look, it's still going. I still got to be showing. It's still going. Just moments into the video, we can see the shower handle moving entirely on its own. The family's expression, along with no visible fishing line, makes this video very interesting. Based on the numerous paranormal accounts that are recorded at this hotel every year, makes this video quite compelling. While a majority of the people in the original comment section are convinced it was paranormal activity, a few skeptics mentioned it was possibly the cartridge valve and was simply moving from water pressure. Paranormal or not, the footage is definitely creepy. At 11.31 evening, a woman was taking the Mexico City Metro back to her house when something strange began to take place. 
She often takes the metro, but typically catches it much earlier since it is rather unsafe to travel by herself late at night. Many of her friends have experienced strange activity on the metro at night, from creepy people approaching them to hearing disembodied voices when nobody else was around. Early in her travels, she began to hear strange noises, which began to worry her since nobody else was in her specific car. Since there was nothing she could do, she pulled out her phone and attempted to capture the terrifying noises. When she uploaded the video to social media, many people pointed out something that she overlooked entirely. As the video begins, we can hear three various sounds that would make anyone uncomfortable. The first noise almost sounds like a guttural growl, while the second noise sounds like a high-pitched scream. After we hear the third noise of the crying baby, she pans the camera to the right to show that nobody was in the same car as her. But when she pans back to the center, we can see a humanoid figure sitting directly to her right. It's difficult to make out any distinct features, but we can tell she has dark black hair. It is safe to say that she will no longer be taking the metro by herself ever again. A woman decided to head downstairs one evening to grab a drink and encountered something truly bizarre. She mentioned that her family was fast asleep upstairs and that her dog was on the couch sleeping as well. The family has experienced several strange events while living there, from hearing disembodied voices to seeing strange shadow figures in various rooms. They decided to install some security cameras inside the house to potentially capture whoever or whatever was behind the mysterious events. The mother never experienced anything out of the ordinary firsthand and only had her family's accounts to go off of. When she was near the refrigerator, a disembodied voice can be heard across the room. She wasn't sure at first if she was simply hearing things, but what happened next would truly convince her. If we listen closely, we can hear two sets of voices saying something that is difficult to make out. The first voice is more of a whisper and must be quite close to the camera microphone. She looks over in the direction of the voice while she is opening the fridge but seems rather unfazed. Seconds later, she clearly responds to the second voice and stops cold in her tracks. After she paused for a brief moment, she seems to shake it off and heads back to bed. Many people in the original comment section are convinced she captured paranormal activity, while the skeptics are certain it was simply some kids hacking into the camera system as a prank. A man was out on the town one evening when he got a notification from his home security camera that motion was detected inside his house. Lately he has been noticing something has been triggering his motion sensor but has never captured anything on camera. Most of his friends and family have told him to not worry about it since it was most likely a common technical issue. Although this was likely the case, he couldn't help but get a strange feeling whenever he would enter his house. Unsure if it was simply the fact he lived alone, or that something could be on the other side of the door, he was always anxious whenever he stepped inside. On this night, 
When he opened his phone to see what the security camera captured, he would be stunned by what he witnessed. Just moments into the video, we can see a translucent orb hovering in the middle of the bedroom. One of the main aspects of the video that gives it some credibility is the fact that there is a shadow from the orb directly below, which cancels out any theories that there is something crawling on the lens. The orb seems to be infatuated by the dog toy, which caused many people in the original comment section to speculate it's the ghost of a child or pet. After watching it over several times, it doesn't appear to be any kind of insect. Paranormal or not, the footage is definitely creepy. A man who works for an airline cleaning company recently encountered something terrifying. He typically cleans large planes once they land from a long trip. The work isn't the most exciting, but he attempted to spice it up by staying back when everyone else decided to leave. He wanted to see what it would be like to walk around on the plane by himself when it was pitch black. At first he was having a great time and mentioned that the aircraft was freezing inside. Although he knew he would soon get in trouble, he mentioned that the video would be well worth it. While his crew was cleaning the next plane, he was slowly exploring the plane to see if anything interesting was inside. It wasn't until he started dancing in the aisles that he captured something that would chill him to his core. Shades up because I got my flash on it here. They gonna catch my ass if they see. Whew. I ain't gonna lie to y'all though. It's mad cold in here. And it's dark. I mean, I know it doesn't look that dark on the camera, but it's dark. Let's go! Let's go! Right, uh, sitting on the back of the plane. Y'all probably think I'm fucking insane. Probably think I'm doing this shit for fame. It may have been difficult to see, but when he was dancing down the aisle, one of the seat belts appears to defy physics and flies off the seat. At first, he is shocked and can't believe what he saw. He then runs over to explain the strange event, but sees nothing to the left. Unsure what to do, he simply runs away from the scene. While many people in the original comment section are convinced he captured paranormal activity, the skeptics are certain he wasn't alone on the plane and simply used fishing line. A woman who dedicates her TikTok channel to fashion and beauty tips captured something truly chilling one morning. She was recording a new video when she turned around on camera to show her hair. Nothing seemed to be out of the ordinary until she watched the replay and heard something terrifying. Ever since she moved into this particular home, she has always felt as though there was a presence watching her. She has never seen anything out of the ordinary but often hears disembodied footsteps along with various voices. Although the experiences make her uncomfortable, she has simply learned to deal with the strange events. She has never posted any video regarding the paranormal, so many of her fans were stunned when they watched the following. As she turns around, we can hear a faint disembodied voice speaking near the camera. During the recording, she couldn't hear anything unusual, but when she watched it back, she was stunned by what she heard. 
Although it's difficult to tell exactly what the voice said, some people mentioned that it sounds like Coda you should have known. This message terrified her since it knew her first name, but she was unsure exactly what the spirit was referring to. In 2022, a security camera outside a roadside restaurant in Chile captured something truly bizarre. The footage shows a stray dog wandering near the restaurant at night, but then something astonishing takes place. The dog slowly begins to transform and gradually becomes a human. A few people in the neighborhood that were shown the video were not surprised and mentioned that dark magic and witchcraft is common in the area. Although the camera footage is blurry, it still shows enough to raise some serious questions. The human is nowhere to be seen when the dog is present, and once the transformation is final, there is no sight of the dog. We can see the black stray dog running in the middle of the frame. After a few moments, the strange transformation takes place in just seconds. Soon the dog completely vanishes and a human form emerges from out of nowhere. Some people even mention that the human looks disoriented at first and tries to gain its balance. It's definitely creepy that many of the people in the town were not surprised by the video and that shapeshifters may potentially be roaming around. Paranormal or not, the footage is definitely creepy. A woman in France has recently been experiencing some terrifying activity. We have featured her videos numerous times, from her capturing a ghost mimicking her daughter to crazy poltergeist activity in various rooms. Many of the people following her posts are worried since the mysterious events only seem to be getting more intense. She is unsure what to do at this point and believes her house may have a demonic presence residing inside. Late one evening, when she was attempting to go to bed, she was awakened by her bedroom door opening and closing violently. Soon the lights turned on by themselves and she courageously made her way to the hallway. What she captured lurking in the hallway left her truly unnerved. As the video begins, we can see her bedroom door opening and closing with nobody in sight. She then mentions in the caption, the female spirit often mimics her cat to lure her into the hallway. When she pokes her head out to see what is causing the noise, she captures a dark figure at the end, staring directly at her. She quickly heads back into her room and back into the hallway once again. This time, the figure is speaking in a strange language and eventually begins to scream while turning its head. This once again sends her back to her room, but when she pokes her head out one more time, it's just a few feet away. She slowly backs up into her room and we can see the silhouette of the strange figure once more. A mother and daughter decided to go stay at the Crescent Hotel which is one of the most haunted hotels in the world. 
Many guests report seeing ghostly apparitions throughout the property, along with hearing disembodied voices. The hotel was built in 1886 in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and in 1930, it became an experimental cancer hospital. A man by the name of Norman Baker claimed to be a licensed physician and would examine cancer patients in the hotel's basement while charging unsuspecting families their life savings. When Angelina was having her morning coffee on the balcony, she began to hear someone humming and singing next to her room. When she went over to see who it was coming from, she was shocked to see nobody there. As the video begins, we can faintly hear a woman humming a song nearby. She mentioned that the air conditioning was turned on and made it difficult to hear. When she goes and checks to see if anyone was sitting next door, she was shocked to see nobody there. Many people in the original comment section mentioned that the tune she was singing sounds like a very old song. Based on the history of the property and the woman's genuine reaction, it's safe to say that something bizarre was taking place. Last month, a security camera captured something truly bone-chilling in Mexico. The man placed a security camera outside while construction was taking place on the land. The owner didn't want anyone coming on site and stealing any of the valuable construction equipment. One morning around 4, he got a notification that motion was detected near the property. He was told by several people in the neighborhood that the land was haunted, but he didn't pay much attention to the rumors. When he watched the security camera footage, he started to think that the rumors may be true. While he was originally worried about people coming onto his land and stealing his valuable equipment, his attention soon shifted to the land being haunted and that he had a bigger problem on his hands. As the footage begins, we can see a bright orb hovering in the field near the property. The orb appears to be making its way towards the owner's land and eventually stops just outside the boundary. One thing that is interesting is that you can see faint images of multiple people as the orb is hovering toward the house. Once the orb stops, we can clearly see two humanoid figures standing side by side. While many people in the original comment section are convinced the camera captured paranormal activity, the skeptics are certain it was simply a flashlight and poor camera quality in low light. 